Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, the one and only host and cruise, bringing you another exciting edition of boxing. Don't forget to hit and to like, subscribe to my channel. It's always going to be appreciated. Stay tuned. Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, host and cruise, and guys, one of the top faces, names, and draws in the sport of boxing is back. And he'll be back on December 14th in Houston, Texas. And he'll be taking on Laman Roach Jr. Trevante Tank Davis, one of the hottest and hard punchers in the sport of boxing today. With a record of 30 and 0, guys. 28 big wins by knockout. Hard crushing power. You know, Tank Davis can catch you with any shot. He can be losing the fight, and all he needs is one shot. Got power in both hands. And, ladies and gentlemen, he's taking on Lamar Roach, who's a solid fighter. 25 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw, 10 KOs. Who is a WBA champion at 130. Now... Lama Roj is obviously moving up in weight for this fight with Tank Davis. That's the only way he can get it because Tank is not going to come down and wait and challenge him for his title. Now, Lama Roj is a good fighter, very solid, good, good, good boxer. Not the hardest power, not the hardest uh, puncher, um, but he can box and he can fight. The thing is, so. It's a good fight. The only thing I, I don't like about this fight is that it's a typical Tank Davis fight recently. You know, Tank Davis goes in there with guys that is not in his weight class. You know, um, like for example, um, for example, let's talk about this. The, he, Tank either fights guys that are coming up in weight or which, which are naturally smaller or guys that are weight trained. Like for example, when he fought Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia was not even at his best. And he was weight trained. And that was the that was the clause that only that Ryan that if Ryan wanted to fight Tank, he would have to come in at a catch weight. As we saw how he looked against Tank and Haney is is a day and night. When Ryan fought Tank, he was like a skin and bones. On the scale, and then when he fought Haney, he was swollen, strong, and solid. The Ryan that fought Haney should have fought Tank. Because that was Ryan Garcia. Solid, strong, a natural 140. Making Ryan come down to weight and drain himself, weak. Tank even told him at the weigh-in, you look like you need to eat, my boy. You, you look like you need to eat, dog. You look like you're starving. Cause that was the that was the clause in the fight, and Tank knew what he was doing. At the end of the day, man, Ryan got a big payday, and um, it is what it is. Hopefully, a rematch happens at when Ryan is is back, and it happens at full fledged. Uh, uh, Ryan, you know, without weight, without without any weight clause, weight clauses on it. And now, Lamar Roach. Who is naturally at 130, who is a champion, who is a WBA champion at 130. It's coming up in weight. So here comes Tank now fighting a guy, not his size, in terms of weight. Um, the question is, is he taking advantage of these fighters? Is he making a career of that? Because Tank is, like I said, he's one of the biggest draws in the sport, besides Canelo Alvarez. I always say Canelo is the cash cow and all that face of boxing. Tank is one of the face of boxing. I won't say he's a cash cow, but you will get a nice payday if you fight him. And Tank is better than fighting guys that are not even in his weight class and weight dropping weight clauses on them. He's better than that. And that's what I want to see. I want to see Tank fight a man his size in his weight class. Like an Andy Cruz. You know, 135 pounders. Shakur Stevenson. You know. Rayo Valenzuela. You know, Rayo, Rayo now is a 140 pound champion after beating Isa Pitbull Cruz. But Andy Cruz, for example, you know, 
true 135 pounders. Like I said, Shakur Stevenson is one of them. Tank needs to fight those fighters. Not a lemon, not a small lemon roach, 130 pounder. A weight, a weight drain, Ryan Garcia. Get in there with a fighter your size and your weight, full fledged, and get it on. But it is what it is. Lemon Roach is going to collect a nice paycheck. I'm sure he's going to come to fight. You know, he's a champion. He's a current champion at 130. So I'm sure he, his mindset is to, you know, go in there and try to knock off Tank. Which is a big try. You know, it'll be a big upset. But December 14th, man, Javante Tank Davis is back. 30 and 0, 20 in KOs. We be fighting Lemon Roach Jr. as he goes up in weight. The fight thing at 135. Uh, 25 wins, one loss, one draw, 10 KOs on Amazon Prime pay per view. You know, Tank is all about pay per view. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Miracle Boy Boxing, guys. I am your host, Host and Crew. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. It is always a pleasure to talk to you guys about boxing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.